first. And what I want you to understand when it comes to loving yourself, finding the courage to say no and love yourself, we got to think about us. What do you love? What do you want to do? You have put your dream. Some of y'all put your dreams on hold for somebody else. Some of you have spouses and you're like, I'm going to let you go ahead and get your business running and get together and then I'm going to do my thing. Some of us are pouring so much into the kids when we want to see them go to college and everything else. You look back 30 years later. Well, I never I never focused on my dream. Right. I never did anything because I'm putting everybody else first. When are you going to say yes to yourself? Right. And understand that the moment that we decide that we're going to say yes to ourselves, the moment that we decide that we're going to pour into ourselves, the moment that we decide I'm going to allow God to give me the very thing that I need. Right. Think about the influence you'll have then. We talk about we want to be somebody. I talk a lot about becoming her. This is a series that I'm just now starting, becoming her. Becoming the woman that God is calling you to be. Who is she? You gotta be able to see her. You'll never be her if you can't see her. You've gotta have a vision. You gotta know what she looks like. You gotta know what she does on the weekdays, what she does on the weekends. What type of house is she living in? What is your dream? Honey, I wanna be on a yacht off the coast of Greece somewhere. That may not be your dream, but you have to know who you want to become. And then you got to, every single day, what am I doing to become this woman? It's a process of becoming her. But how are you ever going to become the woman that God is calling you to be when you're trying to make everybody else be what God is calling them to be? Focus on you. Do what God is calling you to do. And understand that when you put yourself in a position to say, God, I'm going to honor me first. God, I'm going to love myself the way that you love me. Imagine the influence. Right. Imagine the legacy that you'll leave. So this is what I say. Think about this. Let's just say, y'all wish I had some props. Let's just say we got a cup right here, right? We got a glass. This glass is you. And we got a hose. This is the hose. Let's just say this glass is you. This hose is God. The hose is God. If someone were to turn on the water in this hose, imagine that the water is blessings and abundance and prosperity and peace and love and grace and joy. If you turn that hose on and you start pouring, you start pouring this water into this glass. At some point, the glass is going to begin to overflow. Okay, and so when we talk about my cup runneth over, when I talk about my cup runneth over, it don't just trickle off the side. If you got a never ending stream of blessings from a never ending God, the blessings are not going to stop. They're going to continue to flow. And so what happens is this water that is flowing out of this cup is not a trickle. It becomes a waterfall. And it's a constant flow, a constant flow. And so everybody that is around you is now blessed. Right. Because you said yes to yourself. Right. Because you've allowed time, space, and energy to say yes to yourself, to pour into the very thing that God's been trying to give you for years, but you kept saying no. You kept putting everybody else first. Thinking that it's because I love them, it's because I care. Yes, it is. But when are you going to care about you? When is it your time? When is it your time? You've done so much for everybody else. And when we're talking about this overflowing of blessings, when, when the blessings are overflowing, now you've created this influence in their lives. Now you've modeled for them what it means to love yourself. Right. So now they, in turn, can love themselves and go take it to the next woman. Right. And then what they're going to do is the cycle is going to continue and continue and continue. And because you've said yes to yourself, you've now left the legacy. People are going to remember not even just you, but the effect that you had in their life. Right. Think of how fulfilled you're going to feel when you're like, I'm doing the very thing that God called me to do. Right. I'm happy. I love every single thing about me. And I understand that it's a process and I don't become her overnight. You want to be sure that you're positioning yourself for the overflow of blessings. It's time out for games. We're walking into 2018. God is calling us to bigger and better. God has sent me here today. Everyone under the sound of my voice has purpose. And God has sent me here today to say, you have got to get in position. Because in this season, I'm going to release blessings to you. Blessings that you didn't, you didn't even, you're not even 
are going to recognize. People are going to bless you. People that were your enemies at one point in time are going to bless you. People off the street are going to bless you. God is going to send you things. But you've got to be in position to receive. Because at the end of the day, if this hole's right here, if all, all these blessings in this cup, if you all the way over here and he starts pouring out these blessings, you're going to miss it. <laughs> so I want to challenge every one of you today to think, how have I said no to myself? How have I put everybody else before me? When was the last time I said yes to myself? When was the last time I decided I wanted to do something for me? Not because you wanted to do it. Not because I'm like, oh my God, let me just... No, when was the last time you said, I am going to be selfish today? I don't look at it as a bad thing. Not at all. So, I want to leave you with a, a quick action plan. So when you go home tonight, I want you to get out a piece of paper and a pen. And I want you to draw a line down the middle. On the left side, I want you to write, things I love about myself. Okay? Things I love about myself. And on the right side, I want you to write things I just love. And so I, 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 I want to encourage you. Look at your list. When you talk about the things that you love about yourself, look at your list. If you have a long list, this is amazing because you understand the woman that God is creating you to be. You know the gifts that he's giving you and you're walking in your purpose. But if your list is fairly short, you have got the most amazing journey ahead of you. Because now you get to create her. Right. You get to create the woman that you want to be. Right. This ain't about looking at the past. This is about saying, I get to create who I want to be. I get to do the very things that I want to do. Right. Who do you want to become? Well, become her. Ain't nobody stopping you from being the woman that God is calling you to be right. and doing the things that God is calling you to do. But yourself, right. the fear is what gets us caught up. But if God be for me, who can be against me? Mm. If, if, if God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind, who am I to listen to the enemy when he comes with this voice of fear? Who are we going to believe? Are we going to believe the fear? Are we going to believe God who said, I don't give you that? That wasn't from me. But it's a decision that we make in our hearts. And so your list, your things that you love about yourself. The things that you love to do. Right? What do you love to do? Like, I mean, what kind of foods do you like to eat? Do you like sushi? Like, I love sushi. Like, I want to go eat sushi on a Wednesday because I can't. Do you want to go to amusement parks? Like, do you want to go hiking and climbing up mountains and skydiving? I don't know. If you want to do that, great. But, like, what do you love to do? Write the list down and start doing it. Start living your life. You live it for everybody else but you. Right. It's time for you to reclaim your life. Say yes to yourself. You ain't dead yet. You got purpose. And God wants you to live it abundantly. Amen. Remember, we're just now in the process of becoming her. Becoming the woman that God is calling us to be. It's a process. And as we move through that process every single day, we get better and we get better and we get better. And we love ourselves more and more and more. And you can go back to that list and be like, boom, let me add that to my list. Because I love that about me now. And then a month later, you go add a couple more things to your list. And then when you look back, you're like, man, I'm on the other side of the page. Like, because you're loving yourself more and more and more because you finally decided to say yes to yourself. So I want to encourage you, don't look at anybody else. Look at yourself and say, I love me. How many of you ladies in here love yourself? Repeat after me. I love me. I love me. God bless you.